shots, man. But um, he go to the barber shop. I used to go. He get cut by a brother from New York. That's the reason he probably. Because I think him and the brother grew up together. And uh, Chuck go around and get his hair cut, man. Chuck cool ass brother, man. Chuck could talk to you throughout the whole time he in the barber shop. He's not one of those uh, sedidier ass um, brothers that will sit behind the scene and don't say nothing. You know, people come, hey Chuck, what's going on? You know, Chuck, give you a conversation, no problem. Tiffany Sports and Hill said, uh, how you going to call the Ravens bum <laughs> when the Giants won 1.5 games last season? Stop it. <laughs> 1.5 games. All right. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, KC, I did forget public. <laughs> hey, listen, I want to do a little entertainment, right? Hold up. I got a clip. Because um, Wendy Williams, and I almost forgot about this. You know, this show is part of entertainment. We just had some calls on uh, a little too long today. But, uh, yeah, Wendy Williams, man. Let me see. It's also Jose Jose Negron. It's a brother, man. I ain't going to say his real name. But Jose Negron, a brother lived down here. I think he's from that Chi-Town area, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying I'm thinking because I don't really want to tell you. You know, but uh, hold on, let me find, here you go. We got a clip from the Wendy Williams, right? Wendy Williams is scared to get a divorce because of this what will happen to her. All right, so put your ears on and uh, listen to this. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it right here. Uh, I just got to uh, put it on my speaker. All right, y'all ready? Here we go, right here. She won't allow Tamar to come on her show now that Tamar is divorcing her husband, Vince. Wendy is stuck by her husband, Kevin, through multiple cheating scandals. If you recall, several weeks ago, the Daily Mail claimed Wendy's husband bought a massage therapist a house down the street from his family home with Wendy and their son, Kevin Jr., At the time, Wendy's spokesperson denied the romance, telling Hollywood Life, one plus one does not equal three. This woman is a friend of Mr. Hunter, but there is no there there. However, Kevin's name was seen on the mailbox, so obviously there was something to the rumor. But the reason Wendy doesn't divorce him is because she's actually scared to leave him. Hollywood Life reports, Wendy Williams fears divorce after sticking with her man for years and through multiple cheating scandals. She's been married to her husband, who's also her manager, for 20 years, and the recent infidelity allegations are not the first. Wendy has stood by him during the prior rumors, and she has vowed to do the same now. She feels a divorce would be sad, difficult, and challenging for the family. Kevin Hunter is a key figure in her organization, and he helped build Wendy's career. And Wendy fears a divorce may ruin that empire that they built together. She has met with attorneys to explore her options, but whatever the attorneys told her must have scared her. Apparently, everything she worked hard to achieve will be cut in half or more, which would devastate her. And after the most recent disturbing and damaging cheating rumors, Wendy is carefully considering the best way to move forward at this point, but a divorce is unlikely. So it seems Wendy would rather live in misery than risk losing even part of the empire that she's built. And you guys can't tell me Wendy is not miserable. Especially considering how she fell out on national television last week, only to have her husband push her back out on stage instead of being concerned about her health. I'm not an advocate for divorce, but if someone is abusing you, you have to do what you have to do. And if you live your life in fear of losing things, like Wendy fears losing her empire, then you'll never get the greater things that are in store for you. I want to be shipwrecked for Jesus. God, pull me aside if you have to. I know my ambition can sometimes outrun me and I end up in situations I shouldn't be in. Yeah. Yeah, my homegirl, Wendy Williams. Another one bites the dust, you know. I see somebody, LD says, cheaper to keep him. But um, they said that, uh, yeah, he did build, He did help build that empire because uh, back in the days when Wendy Williams was big time in New York radio, making big dollars, uh, she lost 
they had her resign from her job because she was putting all the entertainers, like the rappers out there, that saying which ones was gay and all the business out in the street like that. She put um, P. Diddy out there. She put she fucked up um, Q-Tip. That's why Q-Tip was in high hangers for a long time. But yeah, Wendy uh, destroyed a lot of people. Now it seems like her empire is starting to get destroyed. They said, don't do dirt to others if you can't expect it to come back to you. And that's what's happening to Wendy Williams, boy. Uh, I can't say I feel sorry for her, you know, uh, even though I knew her back in the days, her radio days, uh, because uh, I put it to you like this. I, I heard you a lot of times getting on other people, man. That's why um, um, I look at uh, Atlanta Housewives. That's the next uh, entertainment report. Uh, that's why I look at Atlanta Housewives. Um, Tiffany said, what did Wendy say about the Q-tip? Uh, uh, this is Tiffany um, Poodle in Portland. That he was gay. <laughs> she said the same thing about Diddy. No, I'm not making up shit, Andre. That shit is real. You can look that up. You can ask anybody from New York that was there during the uh, 80s when she was on Radio Tough. You can ask. I don't make up this shit, man. I know this shit. All right? Just like I put that shit on there, I take that shit about her and her husband. I know this shit, you know. So I'm not going to put it out there. But back to my story. I shouldn't even look at the chat because it's taking away from my time. Uh... Uh, Portia Williams is leaving. Uh, she had left the trip. The girls is in Barcelona, Spain. Uh, everybody went but set for Kenya Moore. Uh, and I found out that one of the reasons she didn't go, and it can't be because she getting tired of the girls' trips always turning out uh, uh, on a sad note a lot of time. Uh, she's pregnant. She's pregnant by her mystery husband that everybody said that they don't see. You know what I'm saying? Um... Also, uh, Ken Zosiak didn't go, who's married to the ex-Falcon player. Uh, Ken, uh, what's his name? Beerman? I don't know his first name. Yeah, Beerman, right? Uh, she didn't go either. And one of the reasons she didn't go, because she said her husband got to go uh, anywhere she go, because she has breakdowns on planes, especially when they're going that far, right? Wow, really, Kim? Damn, you want to take your husband on a girl's trip? <laughs> oh, okay. I got you, Dre. I got you. He said he's not talking. Okay. I got you, Dre. But anyway, I'm sorry about that, my brother. And I usually don't do that. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but anyway, um, so anyway, the girls that was over there, uh, Portia got tired. See, Portia get her own dirt throw back in her face. And, and the way she handled it, either she fight or she run back home. So Portia just left the girls after um, NeNe Leaks. Just got them out of a villa they was in. They was in a villa that Cynthia hooked up for them. But the villa was, it was kind of shabby for their style. You know what I'm saying? You know how we get, you know, you so used to the goddamn five star, four season stuff, shit like that. They wanted to be in a, a joint like that in Barcelona. I've been to Barcelona, Spain. Barcelona, Spain is a lovely place in, in Spain, man. That's one of the best Spanish ports that I went to. Uh, but anyway, um, Portia left. She got into an argument with, um, <clears throat> uh, what's this lady, what's this lady name? Um, I can't even think of a fucking name right now. Uh, cause she's pissing me off cause she sure enough got under Portia's skin last night. And, and by the way, man, Portia is holding. I don't know if that shit real or fake, but she got a booty out of this world. And if I can think of the other lady, um, uh, name that she's about to get with, she just is about as tall as Portia. And, you know, they be having them big heels on. So they was about to scrap last night, but the girls stopped. And they all split up, and they went in groups. You know, they got their little groups. But anyway, they get ready to move to another hotel. And so next week, they should be in the, um, the hotel. And, um, hey, man, the reason I look at it, because it's, it's, it's Atlanta women that you see out here sometimes. And, uh, hey, man, I just love it, man. You know, uh, I see... Uh, 334 Bound Boy said, Chief, how you know all this gospel be at? Hey, man, I be dead upon it, bro. I, I'm on a million. I, I give a show. And part of my show is entertainment. And if I don't give the women in the chat room a little entertainment, I can't just bar bingle them on sports all the time. I got to give them what they want, you know. I got to keep them interesting, you know. 
Definitely Atlanta. Some of you men know y'all like it. Some of y'all watch Atlanta Housewife and uh, Hip Hop Atlanta. Y'all know y'all watch it. So don't sit there and act like you don't. You'll watch it. You know? Definitely that. Uh, I had another story too. Uh, you know, T.I. and Tiny been having a, a long time, um, you know, on and off, on and off, on and off marriage and whatnot to the point where the old house that they all used to live in, T.I. redid it to make it look more manlier, you know what I'm saying, as far as paint and all that. And, you know, he just redid the house and Tiny and the, and the kids moved to another house, you know what I'm saying? Damn, you must, it must be good to have money like that. Uh, Bama said he never watched an episode. Uh, you need to, Bama. You know what I'm saying? You, are you going to tell me your, your, your fiance don't watch Atlanta Housewife? I'll stop. Pause. But anyway, move on. Um, so, it's, lately they've been seen together a lot. And um, Tiny was over here on the south side at the McDonald's uh, where Ryan Cameron was doing uh, his week of his last tour on V103. Uh, Ryan Cameron's not no more on the morning show V103, so she stopped by because they're real good friends, and um, you know the 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 he she the shim that does um, entertainment for V103 morning show uh, asked her a question about uh, she see she noticed that uh, Tiny is wearing her ring again, and it must have been a big ass diamond because that's the only time we notice shit, you know what I'm saying? So. Uh, you know, they they, they, they doing their thing. Uh, big up to them because they got all them kids, so they might as well stay together. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody says, it's cheaper to keep her. Uh, Angry Black Man said, we have entered the moist segment of Chief Show. This segment is sponsored by... <laughs> Crumlin Mellow and Cinnamon Apple uh, Lotion. Available bath and body work. <laughs> Y'all ain't shit. <laughs> and on, on on my last entertainment report today, Whoopi Goldberg and Oprah Winfrey, Winfrey, Winfrey uh, gave good advice to Monique about what she's um, out here doing and the things that she's saying. You know what I'm saying? They gave a good advice telling her that, you know, uh, Oprah just said, Oprah, don't, I don't get into that. You know, that's not me, never was, and I never will, you know, so uh, Oprah just said, hey, uh, I got what I need in life, and that's a man and money, and left it alone. Whoopi told her that she needed to chill out and enjoy life and try to get back into the acting field and leave all that other garbage alone, you know, because calling people out won't get you nothing. Right, but with all that said, man, we got the Fox that rocks the box coming up next. Uh, I thank everybody for coming out. The number one Chief Rock in Jersey, Vern. Uh, Mocha said, I like uh, entertainment report from Chief. Thank you, mommy. Uh, Andre said, Chief, I watch it when I can. Look at all those fine asses. You ain't lying about that. That's real. Uh, LD had to correct me, went free. All right, LD, you know what I'm saying? When you get out here and you got time going down and you're trying to make the show in like it's supposed to on time, you get into that situation where you're going to skip and mess up somebody's name. All right? So, LD, go sit your ass back down in that California goddamn cubicle and do what you do best. With all that, man, this is my main man, the microwave song. Ah, oh, yeah, and I'm gone.
I'm stepping with a swagger when I walk up in the club. Them haters always see me cause they looking with a mug. I never pay attention to these lames or these scrubs. Electrifying rappers so they get a little buzz. I say you're flowing.